Classified on topic 1, states of matter, paper 2, question number 6. An experiment is set up as shown. Cotton wool soaked in ammonia. Cotton wool soaked in hydrochloric acid. After several minutes, a white ring of ammonium chloride appears as shown. Here we have the white ring of ammonium chloride. We know that the hydrochloric acid releases the hydrogen chloride gas and the ammonia releases the ammonia gas. Then we will have diffusion and reaction. We know that ammonia has smaller relative molecular mass than the hydrogen chloride, so the ammonia will diffuse faster. Which statement explains the observation after several minutes? Ammonia gas diffuses faster than hydrogen chloride gas because its molecules have a lower molecular mass. This is correct. Ammonia gas diffuses faster than the hydrogen chloride gas because its molecules have a higher, wrong. Ammonia gas diffuses slower, wrong. Ammonia gas diffuses slower, wrong. So the answer is A. Question number seven. A gas is released at point P in the apparatus shown. Which gas turns the damp universal indicator paper red most quickly? We have here two keywords, red and most quickly. Turning the universal indicator red means I'm dealing with an acid. Most quickly means I have the smallest relative molecular mass. So let's check the choices. First, we have ammonia. We know that ammonia is basic, so it will turn it blue, so it's wrong. Chlorine, hydrogen chloride, sulfur dioxide, they are acidic. But which one has the smallest relative molecular mass? We know that chlorine has a relative atomic mass of 35.5, so it's multiplied by 2. And regarding the hydrogen chloride, we have 1 plus 35.5. And regarding the sulfur dioxide, sulfur is 32 plus we have the oxygen 16 multiplied by 2. So apparently here, if we look at the results, which one has the smallest relative molecular mass? The smallest molecular mass is hydrogen chloride. So the answer is C. Question number eight. Pure water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. What happens to the water particles when water boils? Boiling means what? Boiling means changing from the liquid state to the gaseous state. So what happens here to the particles? They gain energy and move further apart. Correct. They gain energy, stay close. Wrong. They lose energy. Wrong. They lose energy. Wrong. So the answer is A. They gain energy and move further apart because they turn into a gas. Question number nine. The formula of methane is CH4 and the formula of ethane is C2H6. Which row describes diffusion and the relative rates of diffusion of methane and ethane? Okay. Description of diffusion. We have the relative rate of diffusion. Let's check A. A. Particles move from a high concentration to a low concentration. Yes, this is diffusion. This part is correct. Okay, ethane diffuses more quickly than methane. We have methane CH4 and ethane C2H6. Which one has a smaller relative molecular mass? The methane has smaller relative molecular mass than the ethane. So which one will diffuse faster? The methane will diffuse faster. So ethane diffuses more quickly. This is wrong. Let's check B. Particles move from a high concentration to a low concentration. Correct. Methane diffuses more quickly than the ethane. This is correct. So B is correct. C. Particles move from low concentration. Wrong. Particles move from low concentration. Wrong. So the answer is B. Question number 10. Hydrogen chloride gas HCl reacts with ammonia gas and H3 to form a solid ammonium chloride. The apparatus is set up as shown. After a few minutes, solid ammonium chloride forms where the two gases meet. So here, ammonium chloride is formed. The experiment is repeated using hydrogen bromide in place of hydrogen chloride. How far along the tube does the solid ammonium bromide form? So we have here hydrogen bromide and here we had the hydrogen chloride. Which one will diffuse faster? The hydrogen chloride will diffuse 
faster than the hydrogen bromide because the hydrogen bromide has a higher relative molecular mass. The relative atomic mass of bromine is equal to 80. Relative atomic mass of hydrogen is equal to 1. The chlorine, it is 35.5, and the hydrogen is 1. So here we have a bigger relative molecular mass. So this means it will diffuse slowly. So it will diffuse slowly. This means the ring will form at A.